Brother Holes is an animation or at least a drawing style that we typically associate with those old cartoons, so from the 30s, the 40s, but it also got popularized by Cuphead. And I wonder how did Cuphead team implemented this, because the animation style requires that you draw frame by frame each of the character limbs uh, bending, right? So this is what gives this genre, this style, the name, Hubber Holes. But as far as I know, uh, the Cuphead team implemented this with frame by frame drawing. This is one of the reasons why the end game file is uh, like 20 gigabytes, right? So they draw frame by frame and they load these frames in the game. So this is why this game is very heavy. But I managed to find a way to implement Hubble Hosing in Godot Engine using path to this and line to this. So let me show you how I'm doing that. So this is Ares, which is the first boss of my game. Yes, Ares from the, the Zodiac sign. This is how I drew it. And this is the charge animation. So I'm, I want you to pay attention to its arms uh, right here, to his arms, right? So you can see that they bend and they animate very smoothly. And this is because I'm using a path 2D and a line 2D to draw this. So let me show how this works. I'm going to copy and paste this on another scene and I'm going to reset these points to something like this. So we have a straight line here, right? So this is uh, the, the, the way that I've drawn this line is using the line 2D, updating its points to match the path's baked points. So this is uh, done in the process. So I have here the, the process callback, and if there is no line, I return. If there is no curve, I also set the line points to an empty array and return. But if there is a line and there are points in the curve, I update the line points to match the curve baked points. So the baked points is how Godot will internally process how this curve is uh, supposed to be drawn. So we can only see two points, right? So the initial point and the final point. But in Godot engine, internally, it's rendering one point each five pixels so you can see the big interval five pixels we can increase that if you want to improve the performance to optimize the performance of our game we can increase the size but for now i will keep it just five pixels to increase the re resolution of this curve and the thing that i want you to pay attention to is when we use this select controls tools we can bend this line to make it behave like a curve, right? And you can see right here on the right that this bending changes some properties of these points. So in this case, the in property of this point here. So we have the position of the point and we also have the in property, which is where this point that bends the curve here, so the handle is uh, localized, is positioned. Animating this properties is how we can bend this curve in real time. So let me show how this works. I'm going to create an animation player and I'm just going to create an animation called Bend. And let's make this another straight line. So I'm going to take rid of this and that. So it's a straight line and I'm going to save, I'm going to key these properties so they are going to be animated. And right about here, I'm going to change them. So I'm going to bend this curve like this and this other point like this and i'm going to save all of these in the animation as well and i'm going to make this a ping pong animation just so we can visualize this bending this is how it looks like so Godot can bend this curve in real time this is especially useful if we use this together with some animations uh, tools especially the transition tools that we can access using the easing property of each uh, key. So I'm going to change that to make this more smooth, so smoother. And this is how it looks like using this animation technique. And this is how I achieved this animation for Ares, which to be honest, I found it to be pretty cool. So it charges, it makes something like and then it charges towards the player. Of course, this line right here, which is kind of like a thruster, 
uh, this will have to be generated in real time because it will take the initial position and the current position of areas so it needs to be updated in real time but this is how I'm achieving the animation style for my game so this is how you can implement some rubber, rubber hosing <laughs> techniques in your game as well don't forget to follow Mikuwe Meili Inc channel because I start to upload some content there as well so in, in this channel I want to talk about astronomy and astrology just a small observation here before anyone says anything I don't believe in astrology as a personal personality uh, system I believe that it's a very cool system to uh, use for archetypes right and I also find it cool the mythology around it but I don't believe in astrology but I want to create content about astrology as well so this channel is going to be about love letters astronomy and astrology if you want to support the Milky Way mailing project I, I really need some support right now because I need to keep this development moving forward you can send a letter to someone that you love so if you know someone that was born between that birthday is between March 20 and April 19 you can send a birthday letter to this person and it will become a video in the Milky Way mailing ink channel the video will be a footage an in-game footage picking up this letter on earth and delivering to March where Arians leave so that's it thank you so much for watching keep developing and see you in the next one bye bye